Oral reading fluency is made up of four major components. We think of it as accuracy, uh, reading rate or speed, expression or prosody, and then automaticity. You could add an automaticity. And so sometimes I say in the definition of fluency, speed, accuracy, and expression. Speed is referencing reading rate. Accuracy is this one right here. Expression, we can think of expression as reading something with the right prosody or the right inflection and intonation. So, so we're going to say expression and prosody are going, you know, hand in hand. And then automaticity, we're going to look at automaticity, what, what uh, automaticity is. Um, and it's that final level of word recognition where a student is able to rapidly recognize words with, with doing very little effort. So, so these are the components that make up fluency. Let's look at the first one, accuracy, a little closer, okay? Thinking about what is accuracy. Accuracy is the amount of questions the student gets correct over the total amount of questions uh, or words that they had to read. So it's, it's usually um, um, a percentage of what they got right over how much they had to read. Um, and it's always a percent. And we have these levels for accuracy. You're going to see those levels, the independent, the instructional, and the frustrational. Now, independent, I, I want you to remember this. Independent, this, is, this means that the text that the student's reading, if they get 95% uh, correct or more, it means that it's a good text for independent reading. It's a text that could be used to build um, the student's um, reading, a fluency reading. So you could use, if the student scores 95% on a text, it means that's a really good text to practice their oral reading fluency and build their speed, accuracy, and expression of, of the written text, okay? As opposed to instructional, instructional means that's a text that maybe you would use in a small group setting, like a, a reading group setting. It's, it's where they're getting around 90 to 94% right. And that means they're about missing about one out of every 10 words. This is an instructional setting where the teacher in the small group might highlight specific words that they know the student might have difficulty with, or the teacher might uh, teach a specific phonics rule to help a student with those words, or the teacher might clarify some unknown vocab or help with the pronunciation of uh, tricky, you know, tier two and tier three words. So, so anytime a student is at that instructional level, that's going to be a really good book to use or text level to use for a small group reading group at the instructional level. And then the final level is frustrational. Frustrational, they're getting less than 90%. And I want you to remember with frustrational, uh, this isn't the best book to build fluency. Now, it doesn't mean the student can't attempt to read a book at a frustrational level. It just means that if you're trying to build the student's speed, accuracy, and expression, um, uh, a book at uh, the frustrational level might not be the best choice. And you want to be very careful uh, about that. You want to know um, where the student is with a specific text, okay? If it's at a frustrational level, then it just might be a text that's causing too much frustration, okay? And, and, and therefore, you know, if your goal is to build fluency, it might not be the best pick, okay? All right, okay, this is accuracy, all right? Now let's think about the next one, automaticity.